We made a massive decision last episode, and that was to sell our main striker, the number nine, who got us 41 gold contributions last season. Callum Wilson has been sold to Leon for 45 million pounds. You're probably wondering, who did you replace him with? We signed Victor Ozyman from Napoli for 80 three million pounds what a signing and he scored on his debut that game was against Brighton, and we won 3-1 our first game of the season was against evident we won 6-1 we do have transfer deadline today and we have 53 million to spend 150k in the wage budget so we will be getting some business done today i'm pretty sure we need two players one player we do we do need to make some signings if you guys go on and enjoy today's episode you know what to do smash it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribe to the channel like golf today's video will be why not let's go big once again 100 likes that is the like goal we can definitely hit that if you haven't already like the video really really good start to the premier league i mean not keeping a clean sheet but the player of the episode for last episode voted by the comments is a draw with with not with two players but four players so as always we have to go to will decide spin the wheel it's between aussie man callum wilson who isn't even here anymore but he had a great episode it's a maximin and stupid young the left back we signed last episode so it would be cool if a stupid young won it to be fair it's Aussie man. It's Aussie man. I mean, at least it's not Wilson. He doesn't even play for us anymore. So congratulations to the new number nine Aussie man for winning player of the episode. The other business we did was share left to Lil for 7 million. That was a release clause. We brought in Dean Henderson, goalkeeper for 40 million for Manchester United. Backup midfielder to replace Shelby, 12 and a half million. Again, another release clause is Gavi from Barcelona. Estupignon from Villarreal for 33 million pounds. Joe Lennon going to Benfica on loan as well. We have signed four of the five positions we needed going into the season. The one left is a backup winger. Of course, we have Fraser, but we want someone slightly better than him and someone who has, you know, good potential with the 50 3 million, we can definitely make that work. It seems some of these, you know, wingers around about 80 rated seem to be expensive, but I'm sure we can get something done in today's episode. Maybe even leave 10, 15 million going into um, the January transfer window. We have an interesting comment from last episode, which is to convert this guy to a winger. He can play right mid. Not too sure how long that would take. His sprint speed is 65 and his acceleration is 81, which saves him slightly. But that has really put me off. 65 sprint speed. <laughs> would be an interesting one. How much would he cost? Between 23 to 32. But, but again, the sprint speed. No, thank you. We have Braham, who uh, is currently out on loan at Real Madrid. Real Madrid have managed to loan him in. Jesse Lingard would be an arresting speed. I mean, I mean, we want someone who actually is going to be good when we make a sub. Malang Sar seems to be a good option because he'd cost around about 32 million, which is pretty good. He's a good player. He's Premier League proven, I guess. Yeah, he is. He's really quick. He'd just be that good impact sub. Is he left footed? Because uh no he's right winger right footed interesting jared bowen probably really not quick no he's, he's not quick would cost like 30 million annoyingly maduki can we loan him that that'd be good if we could loan him pino would cost between 30 and 40. he's 19 by the way he's 19. he could improve that sprint speed that would be an interesting signing that would be an interesting signing. We may do that thing where we just go into a couple of players and, and put some offers in and see how many good offers we can get. I'm definitely interested in putting an offer in for him. Hudson Adoy would cost, he can play on the left and the right. He's English, he's, he's from Chelsea. He's probably looking for game time, which of course he's not going to get. Some maximum and Dembele. Probably going to have less game time at Newcastle. Then at Chelsea, maybe not. I don't know. Thirty to forty. So you know, in that price range, he, we we can get him. He's already a winger. This guy costs too much. Doku, yeah, too much. Forty to fifty. You're getting ridiculous there. Now there was a player who I signed in Everton rebuild, and when playing the Champions League final, I thought he was incredible. It, or or it was another time I played with him. I was having the crashing issue with the game. So I was going into a past career mode and I was using the Everton. I was just playing random Premier League games. And I was using him. I was like, 
This player I need to sign in a career mode. He was incredible. A bit like Almiron, where you just don't expect them to be that good on the ball. If it is this guy, I'm going to double check. We are signing him. We are signing him. He's got 85 potential, starts off at 75. So he may be 77, 78, um, which financially would be decent going into January. I'm having a look and I can't see him at all during the video. So I'm pretty sure I must have signed him carrying on that career mode after the video actually went out. But I know it was this guy. It was definitely this guy. A few other players I did just put on the shortlist is uh, Pedro Neto, never played with him, left-footed player. Lang, never played with him, would be an interesting signing. There's this guy, uh, again, money. Uh, Hudson Adore, I really do like that one. He, he, he sounds like a good signing. English, playing the left, the right. But this guy, I'm telling you, we, we have to go for him. I mean, we have signed a couple of players, which is almost like, have they grown at all? He starts off at 75, 12 million euros. So I'm going to come in with 17 million pounds. 18, 18, 18. They're the one to walk away. 29. Okay, that's promising. He has gone up. Uh, so if we just come in with 21 million, you know, testing the water at 29. He, he's probably really good. He is probably really good. Well, he is. That's why we're signing him. 24 million with a 8% salon clause. What are you saying? 29. Okay, they're really not budging, are they? 26 million. What do you guys say? They say yes. Okay, we can settle on that. But just, just to, you know... See what we could have got Hudson Adoy for. What if we went in for 31 million? They want around right about 37. Okay, 32 and a half. What are you saying there, Chelsea? Okay, they, they wanted 37. Pedro Neto starts off 78 rated, 28 million euros valuation. He starts off that. So if we went in with 33 million, are they going to walk out? They want 10 million plus Almiron, who's worth 34. Uh, no, 36. Remove it, change player. They want 41. We could have bought it in, but as I said, want to go for this guy. I do want a little bit of money going to January, because I said with the clean sheet situation, if, we, if we're really not doing well, because we need a seasonal objective, by the way, with clean sheets, because it seems to be a problem, um, then 54.6 million. Can we make that 65? No, he says no. Okay, what about 60? Just don't walk out. Just don't walk out. He says yes. He's on 20, so we'll give him 45k with a... Um, 200k, 220k signing on bonus. There we go. Whatever your name is, welcome to Newcastle United. As I was saying, going into January, we want a little bit of money in case we need to sign a player to sort out that defense because it really does seem a bit all over the place. Number seven. He is our new number seven. I was going to make our new winger a number seven. So he has a massive shirt number and a massive responsibility to be good. And it's siding prospect 77 rated exciting really exciting I'm, I'm excited to play with him in fact the next game we may even start him or is that just going a little bit over the top he can come on at like 60 minutes he can come on at like 60 minutes we'll, we'll do that I, I have we actually like not completed <laughs> we it's so easy sign three players from europe European nationality, right? And we go all creative. Ecuadorian, Nigeria, wherever that guy was from. And everyone but European. Of course, when we have that one objective, which of course we'd always complete. <laughs> Typical. Transfer offer for this guy. We do want to get rid of him. I mean, does he really have a potential at the club? Maybe some of you guys think he does. So we do have two seasonal objectives right now, which... For memory is 12 clean sheets, Dean Henson, forfeit, release him. And the other one is score a penalty with Trippier, forfeit, release him. I need to keep reading that every episode, by the way, because if we get a penalty and I'm like, whoa, let's put this new signing on it. That's the only penalty we get. Then we're in trouble, obviously. We do have suggestions. We do have suggestions. I have an interesting one. Get 30 goal contributions with Bruno and Gravenberch. And the fourth would be to release one of them. Now, I do like one of them, which is to score... I think it was over 10 goals with Gravenbach. We may have had that last season as well, um, which was similar. I, I really like that. I was going to go for that. This one sounds good. 30 goal contributions. I mean, Gravenbach got 24 last season. Go for it. Let's go put it on there. Put it on there. Forfeit, release one of them. I, I like that. And it would have to be at random, like a will decide. Get 35 goal contributions with, well, not even goal contributions, by the way. This guy's going out there. Lawson, what, what are you doing, dude? 
35 goals with Almiron. Forfeit, sell highest rated play. This guy's just going all out there. It's like, I'm just going to go out there with a hard one. How about no? Um, how about 23? 20, 20 goals. Almiron has to get 20 goals. And if he doesn't, next season we have to sell our highest rated player. Get 40 goals with Ozzyman. Forfeit. Drink a raw egg. Again, that's big. It's out there. I, I have thought about this one before I recorded. And I was... I like the forfeit. It, well, of course I don't. I don't want to do it, but... The chance of having to do it, it's exciting. I know you guys will find that entertaining. So we have to get 23 goals. Goals, not goal contributions, goals with Aussie Man. And uh, if we don't do it, we drink raw egg. I don't even know if you can do that, but it's on there. And, and if we don't, then we're just going to have to do it, aren't we? We never seem to do any seasonal objectives with, like, lower rated players. So... Let, let's get one, which is we have to score eight goals with Hull this season. And the fourth, it would be to release him if we don't get that. And we have to get eight goal contributions with Pablo Mavi. And if we don't do that, sell Dembele. Why not? He played with him. He played at Barcelona with him. If we don't do that, if we don't get... I already forgot. <laughs> was, it, was it eight goal contributions? With Javi, then we have to sell, but not even sell, release Dembele. I'm not too sure how many seasonal objectives we have now, but if you have any more suggestions, next episode is probably the last episode we'll add them for this season. John Joe Shelby has now been sold for 6.3 million pounds. What was Longstaff saying there? Okay, Longstaff saying, I can do the job. Well, he actually is going to do the job as a backup, backup midfielder to sit in the reserves. Bench is looking good. Backup right back is Manquio. We don't really need a, a, a better one. Jamal Lewis will do the job. I know you guys don't rate Hayden, but for a backup CDM, again, he will do the job. Willock, poor Willock. I mean, I thought he would be the, the player we started at the start of the season, but obviously Almiron, that was last season. But Almiron obviously started to be Almiron. Oh, we have some big news. We have some big news. This is exciting. Our Champions League group has been drawn. I've seen one of the teams in the calendar. And it's a big team, by the way. It's Atletico Madrid. Munching lap back and Moscow. Interesting. Okay. We have the good game against Atletico Madrid. Uh, Munching Gladbach should be fairly straightforward. And then the Moscow teams are always a challenge. They can pull one out of nowhere. Uh, but that's a decent group. That is a decent group. PSG, that's what that is looking like. Group D, C. Who have City got? Who have City got? Uh, be honest, that's not a City group. Group G, H. There's not really a group which is like really hard, by the way. No, there is. There is. That that that's that's a fairly hard group. Um, and that. But you know that you get what I mean. First game we're in our third kit. This is exciting. We got Bryden away. Oh dear, he's just dribbled past me. The, come on. Nice tackle. Bruno. He's found Dembele. Uh, here's Ozzyman. Amaron. Looking for some maximum. What a start this would be. On his left. Going to hit one. What a save there. Straight to Trippier. Good touch. Whip one in. Good cross. A maximum back post. He is scary when he does that. Bruno. Gravenberch. Almiron. Back to Gravenberch. Turns his mat. This is good. Chip the keeper. Oh, what a go. What a goal, Gravenberch. There we go. That's helping with one of the seasonal objectives. The Bruno and Gravenberch 30 assists. There's one. Not assists. Goal contributions really, really worked. Well worked goal. Great chip there. We might adjust the sliders a little bit more as well, by the way. Because we did score a lot of goals last episode. Oh, nice tackle there. Is Dembele. Bruno. Going on a bit off a dribble. Finds Almiron. Oh, we're just going to destroy them here, aren't we? It's a maximum. We might have just sliders in-game. He's missed it. He's bloody missed it. Nice header there. Stupignon. Gravenberch. Bruno. Is Trippier. A ball out wide to Dembele. Now to Almiron. This is good stuff. On to that left. Still Almiron. Going to blast one. Oh, what a save. What a save by the keeper. Not a great angle, but he hammered that. And the keeper with a... Incredible save there. As we do, 
this season. Normal corners into the box. Because we will score a lot more goals. And it may come out to Almiron to take a long shot, which probably will get blocked every time. Now for a good header by the defender. Trippier. Dembele. Here's Almiron. Still Almiron. Still Almiron. On his left. Now a good take by the keeper. Come on, man. Get in the back of the net. Trippier. Into the box. Good corner. Out to Almiron. Oh, this is good. Gonna hit that. Blocked. Out for another corner. All right, it's about time we actually win a header from one of these. Oh, Aussie man. Is Almer on edge of the box once again? This is a good opportunity. Another block! Brentford escaped relegation last season, but if they play like this against uh, for the rest of the season, we have to keep a clean sheet here, by the way. We cannot mess about against a team who are playing this bad. We're having that many opportunities. Keep a clean sheet. As I was saying, they, they might go down this season if they play like this. Oh, get it away. Get it away. Here's Grafenbach. Ball over the top. Ossiemann. Oh, he's done really well there, Ossiemann. He's done really well. Here he is. Boom, 2-0. He did incredibly well there. Our main number nine. What a bit of play that was. He did really well to take the ball down. Great finish. This is another goal. This guy is going to be better than Wilson. He's going to be better than Wilson. He's more mobile. He probably has better finishing. In simulation, he will score more goals. He's already played in the Champions League. Overall, really good signing. Oh, nice tackle there. Ozzyman over the top to Almiron. Can we get three before half time? There it is. Boom. I will adjust the sliders at half time. Here come Bryden. Nice bit of play. And boom, really, really, really good save. I adjusted them quite a bit. <laughs> and I know before we've gone in at halftime, oh, cocky, oh, you know, this is too easy and, like, lost the game. Fourth, three or something like that. Uh, but great save, Dino. They are passing the ball around really well here. They are... It's onside. They, it, are we actually going to, like, drop points this game? They have... They're, they've played well. They're really starting to pass the ball around really well here. This is like Barcelona, prime Barcelona. He should have saved that as well. Well, once again, another clean sheet gone. Three games in, and we're probably going to have three games where we've smashed the opponent, but conceded that one bleeding goal. Great tackle there is Bruno. Now to Dembele. Come on, finish this off. Ball one. Boom, get in. Shove your come back up your ass. That doesn't sound too good. Good ball in behind. Dembele could have sweat it. No thanks. He's going to smash it. 4-1. It is 60 minutes. And the question is, who do we take off? <sighs> Alan Samaxman, captain. Dembele's just scored. I'll put Alan Samaxman on the right. Oh, we'll bring on this guy's right footed. Yeah, I'll put him on the left. Here's his debut. I mean, here they come again. Nice bit of play. Come on, organize. Organize. Get a foot in. Oh, dear. Okay, that was a bit dodgy. Good stuff. Cross it in. Dembele. Amaron. Some maximum. Here's the goal. Boom. There we go. It's 5-1. Come on. Get Sulmanamanamanama, whatever his name is, on the pitch. Here we go. Here he is. I don't know why I'm so excited about this. Nice tackle. Here he is straight away. New number seven. Boom. We haven't played with a number seven yet. Oh, wow. what a start. What a start he's having. Try and get onto that right. Here he is. Great dri Yeah, No, it was his dribbling. It was literally his dribbling. It was his dribbling. It was his dribbling. I thought he's going to go and score. In the evidence, it was his dribbling, which was insane. Literally insane. Lewis. Now Sulemana. Here he is coming forward. He's going to take them on. He's going to go outside to Lewis. I mean, I do want to hog the ball with Sulemana. Uh, here he is. Still Sulemana. Great. Boom. Oh, what a save. Some Maxman. Back to Sulemana. Nice spin. Onto that right. Yes. 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 Go in. No. Header it straight back to him. Oh, great tackle there. Beautiful tackle. Javi passing it straight to them. Not very Barcelona light, but you know, it's fine. Here he comes. He's in behind. Has to score. He has to score on his debut. Boom. Oh, he saved it. He's made an incredible save. You're kidding me. Why? You've got to let five in and you don't let that in. You take in the pit. Trip here. Smashes it in. Oh, that's so frustrating. Come on, tackle him. Tackle him. Get the ball. 
required. Extra time. Yes. To a mana. Boom. Onto his right. Has to score. Oh, we saved it again. <laughs> why? Why, why, why is he saving these? All he wants to do is score. Come on, let us sick, Finn. We, we, we've established you're not amazing. Oh, it's, it, it's because he's going to score a banger. It's because he's going to score a banger. <sighs> I mean, decent debut without scoring. Probably because I put the um, the goalkeeper ability to like 55 or something like that. It's like goalkeepers at the start of the year there. That was, that was ridiculous. That was stupid, that was. We spent 194.5 million, 60 million with players going out the door. A nice, oily transfer window. Transfer offer for what? Another player we won't be playing, so we will sell him. Coventry, 1.7 million. That is fine. That goes for on deadline day. That would be beautiful. One more hour. Gravenberg Spurs. No thanks. 90.3 million pounds for Gravenberg. Nice try. And the dip hasn't? Has. Has. Boom. Get in. Back of the net. Deadline day has now closed. Y'all have a wonderful evening. Got a busy month now. We've got Wolves, we've got Atletico Madrid, West Ham. In the cup, we've got United, Leeds, Moscow. But yeah, so we've got we've got a good month ahead now. Whoa, 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 release clause met. 41 million. Let's discuss this. That's you don't see your future here. I'm not just happy. You're not happy being at the club anymore. 40 million. 40 million. The thing is, is I'm not actually going to renew his contract because we have the clean sheet issue. I said, if we're still going to have it going into January, we're going to have to change. He's saying he's not happy. I mean, he's saying he's not happy. I don't want to re-sign a contract of a player who's came to me, said they're not happy at the club, and we're also not very good at the back. Uh, so I'm going to say, fair enough. You can go. You can go. 41 million. Annoying. Uh, it, it's there. He's, he's worth 37. So he's basically going for his valuation. He's got two years left on his deal. Yeah. Why not? We have 33 million left. So we could spend a good amount of money on a center back. To get your suggestions in for January, that's a bit of interesting business we've got going on there. But meanwhile, I mean, next game, Eric Bai is starting. I mean, you know, it's, it's going to be in the press that he wants to leave. Oh, no, he's came back to me saying I don't want to leave now. Oh, OK, still wants to go, but he's saying he's going to give 100% for the team. That doesn't help much, lad. <laughs> I haven't really read these responses before. That would be an interesting one. Uh, you're a team player. I'm glad I can still count on you, son. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that one. Uh, yeah, we'll shake hands on that. Uh, but he's not starting the next game. He has now officially been sold, by the way. He has now been sold to Atletico Madrid. Who? Are, what are they trying to do? He's definitely never playing against Atletico Madrid. So we may have to actually play him. We'll put him on wide winger. We may actually have to play him in the next game because Eric Bailly will have to play the Atletico Madrid game. That's how it's going to play out. Okay, a couple of rotations in this game against Wolves. We've got Willock playing at Cam. We've got Javi playing left center mid. We have Eric Bailly playing instead of Inacio, and that's about that. Slight rotation before that game. Come on, big header is Willock. He's found Ozzyman. Back to Willock. Never really played with him, have we? Because Almiron's so good. It's Dembele. Whip that up, flick it up. Oh, Eric Bailly with some good defense there. Oh, what a pass. What a bloody pass. You'd think he's one of the Barcelona boys. Oh, no. Oh, dear me. No, the clean sheet. The clean sheet has to has to be a clean one today. Pedro Neto. Is the space out wide where Trippier should be? Apparently not. Good bit of play here from Walls. Nice build up. Good defense. Really good bit of defense. Javi. Uh, Javi looks like he's struggling a little bit in midfield physically. That is onside and that is in behind. Whip straight in. Oh, that's awkward. No one's actually owned that header. Here's Javi. Onto his right, he needs to get into this game. Here's Aussie man. Now, so Maximin, what a opener. Oh, no, this would be, he's missed it. Why are you clapping? He's bloody gone and missed it. He should be scoring that. He's done that a couple of times this season so far. Hope that's not a sign of things. Willow, out wide. Sam Maximin, got Samido coming back. Sam Maximin in the box, still Sam Maximin. Now, Aussie man, how's that being blocked? Javi to hit one, blocked. And goes to them up front. Well, I mean, what is going on? 
slide in there. Oh, what a tackle. What a massive tackle that is. It's a Maximin. Willock turns his man. Really good stuff there. Really good stuff by Willock. Great stuff by Willock. Still Willock. Out wide to Dembele. Onto that left. Whipping one in. He's offside. No, that's not great. Not a great, good bit of defending. Stupignon. It's Amido. Nice bit of play. Really good bit of play. Prudence with the goal. It's 1 0 Wolves. You're getting Brentford vibes there with these new sliders. Barcelona vibes. Ridiculous. Look how they're passing the ball around. Stupid stuff. Stupid stuff. What is that? Another clean sheet gone down the drain. I'm sick to death for these clean sheets. Honestly. Here come Wolves. Start a second half. Hit one. Good save, keeper. Maybe, maybe it's time he starts to bring some of the big boys on. I was hoping to give them a rest and be a simple win, but clearly not. I mean, Javi isn't having a great game in midfield. That's a, a position we'd probably want to adjust. I mean, where is Aussie man? Where is the player up top? Grippier. Out wide. Dembele coming forward. He's been our best player so far this season with goals. Here he is. Dembele is going to go the way. Oh, what a goal, Dembele. It's 1-1. What a great individual goal from Usman Dembele. That is beautiful. Space was just there for him to run into. Keeper got a hand to it. Bottom corner it was. You're not stopping that. Ooh, is that a red card? Yeah, straight yellow. That is not here. A clean tackle. Not a great tackle. Header that away. Second headers. Have to win it. Okay, have to win that. Comes Bruno coming forward. Oh, Dembele should have kept that run. Still Bruno. Out wide to Dembele. Now to Ozzyman. Gonna hit one. Blocked. Okay. Okay. Renato Sanchez embarrassing us there. He's gonna dink one in. Oh, it's 2 1. It's 2 1. Wolves have played well here. They have played well here and they've just attacked. It's Neto. Sanchez and Neto. Two players. We're looking at buying. Just go and do that to us. That is. Terrible defending from Bayer. I mean, what is that? Javi has to come off. Uh, and uh, and Almiron, Gravenberch, they need to come on. I mean, we need to get three points here. Gravenberch, Almiron, making an impact so far. A little bit of luck there. Here comes Almiron. Now Gravenberch to pick it up. Gravenberch, still Gravenberch. Still Gravenberch. Good, good bit of play. Almiron. It's Almiron. Still Almiron. Going to hit one. Oh, across the box. No one there. Felipe. Bruno. Now to Dembele. Great bit of play. Straight into that left. Really good bit of play. Almiron. Going to smash it. Oh, a save. How is he saving that man? And they are in the box. Hit one. Good save. Keeper. I mean, we've got a point. We've got a we've got a point if we score a goal. We've got a point if we score a goal. Whipped in, head of that out. I mean, if it's just ridiculous this is. Absolutely ridiculous. There we go. We've lost 2-1 Wolves. Really, really bad result. Played like ass. Not happy at all. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but we have to actually play one more. I can't end it on that against Wolves. I've never liked them as a club because of career mode, and it just uh, something about them. I, you don't see me lose enough, but when I lose, I tell you what, I get really irritated. In fact, I can't remember the last time we actually lost a game. Was it the Cabo Cup final last season we played? Five-day injury, obviously, man. I did see the injury, and I was like, oh, dear me, is that the egg, the raw egg, which we have to uh, drink? We, ha we have a... Um, a choice here uh, and i'm gonna put some maximin up top and i'm gonna play solomon on the left i mean we could put solomon up top i think it would be more beneficial to put the maximin up top as as a striker uh we have to do it here because the game uh will do it by itself and probably will find a way to mess it up and put someone who cannot play striker a striker oh it's doing it again it's doing it again he's on the bench we get it he's on the bench he's dembele despite the poor result last game he managed to score straight onto that left gonna try and smash it oh what a goal dembele what a goal he saw the gap he smashed it he, he smashed it and it went in cuts in onto that left foot smashes it and that is just rifled 
into the back of the net. He is on form. If he keeps this up, he is going to be our player of the season. And there's a ball in behind. Clean sheet, please. Atletico Madrid against them. Trippier, beautiful defending that. Really good defending from us. Beautiful defending. Playing out the back. Sulemana making a run. Please be onside. Here he is coming forward. Can he get his goal? His first goal. But yes, he can get in. Sulemana with the goal. Everybody is loving that. What a first goal for your club. Really, really good goal. In the Champions League against Atletico Madrid. Really, really good goal. 2 0. Is that Marant? It's a foul. Is that a red card? Is that going to be a red card? He's going to send him off, isn't he? The commentary is building it up. Yeah. He sent him off. He sent it off. Koke is, is, is being sent off. I'm pretty sure he's arguing with his own place there. It's Atletico Madrid in the box. Not going to slide in. Whipped in. You have to, like, head that away. How bad? Please tell me that's Felipe being shit. Please tell me that's him. Because at least that makes me feel a bit better. It's number buddy. No, it's Bruno. It's bloody Bruno. We have played five games so far this season. In fact, six. And we... I don't know if the clean sheet counts for... Uh, for <laughs> the Man City kit said we lost a negative 3-0. Here we go. Some Maximin. Yo! Get in! Yes, come on! 3-1! Almiron! Get in! Come on! Really want the three points here. Really want the three points, but five games, six games, whatever it is, not one clean sheet. Stupid. Went to chip him. Messed it up. Easy tap in there for Almiron. Playing it long. It's the Maximin. The header. Almiron. Little dink over the top. Now through the middle. It's a Maximin onto his right. Oh, saved by the keeper. Has to be a goal. It's a Maximin. Weird having him as a number nine. He's going to score here, though, surely. Blocked. Maybe he just... He, he's not about it, is he? He's not about being that number nine. He's totally understandable. He's a winger. I know some of you guys have said play him as a nine before. But want to get the three points here. Going to bring on Hayden at centre-back. Got Lewis left back. Uh, risky stuff. Never really played with Hayden, especially at centre-back. But we're going to do it. Ballsy play. Is Lewis. He's got them fresh legs. Got Amaron making the run. Played over the top. Can he get that? Oh, he's done really well there, Amaron. Oh, Amaron's done really well. Amaron. What is that? He is left-footed. And he's gone and done that. 3-1 win. I mean, better result. And the last game, of course, we got the three points. A 10-man Atletico Madrid. Another clean sheet down the drain. Really good win. I mean, back in the Champions League. When was the last time Newcastle were in the Champions League? But after dropping points, we're actually one point behind top of the league, which is Arsenal and Chelsea. Uh, if we won, we'd have gone two points clear. So that's the league. Dembele is level top goal scorer. Four games played, four goals. I mean, he's going to have a really good season. So Maximin, how many is that? Three. I mean, it's going to be another good season. It's going to take us a, like a good, you know, another like eight games or so to really get into it and start getting the momentum going again. But if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Turn the bell on so don't miss a future episode. Like always 100 likes layer off the episode in the comments wonder who that's gonna be. i mean it probably dembele or sulmana maybe someone else got any suggestions to how to uh, keep clean sheets and don't cut just don't concede goals that would really be funny wouldn't it thank you very much for watching and as always i'll see you guys in the next video